Uh, Jonathan is a good friend of the show. He talks horse racing with us. Uh, as oh, well, by the way, as well American Pharaoh is going to keep racing. I read that this <laughs> Big morning. news. Oh, I but, guess that's why you're here. The two of you can talk about but, that. I can leave. But we invited, <laughs> but we invited Jonathan back today why? just to ask three tough questions. Why? What? What? I, you'll have to ask him. Or he'll I don't ask know us. what the question. Why? Well, I don't know what to ask him. He's no, 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 no. He's <laughs> asking us. How's it feel to be a PA? He's announcer. asking us the question. Maybe you should be go to Nebraska. They're looking for a PA guy. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that story. Yeah. <laughs> they, they gave, they've gone yeah. through three. They've gone through three in like six days. So what do you want to talk about? Um, so this is going to be some hard questions, and I you'll each. We were asking him questions. Didn't no, asking he's him? asking us three. No, we're hard reversing questions. the rules today. Oh, I'm okay. asking the questions. Oh, okay. And so the first hard question is, and you'll each have a minute to answer. The Rockies. He's like a Hermione G Gingo. Remember? What? That's a long, long Jack time Parr. ago, Wood. Jack Parr had these Wood. guys that would come That's in. That's the 1950s, like, every night. Woody. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know, he'd have regular guests, and I thought, do we invite him all the time, or does he just show up? He just shows up. I just up. show up, yeah. Oh, well, good for you. I, 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 like I need that. something to do okay. between the hours of 1 and 3. And we have to think up something for him to be out. So you're asking three tough questions. So these okay. are three tough questions. Okay. And the first one is about the Rockies and about the Major League Baseball draft. Should the Rockies tank to get the number one pick in the Major League Baseball draft? The Rockies don't have to tank. They do it naturally. <laughs> <laughs> There's so no reason to tank. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, wait, but, but you're wrong. They might mess this up. They might actually go out and win five or six games in a row, and then they're back being the oh, third. I would pick bet, team. bet strongly no, against I, that happening. No, <laughs> but, but I think his question is a yeah. good one here. I, I sort of debated it myself this morning that if you go ahead and say, we're going to start, I'll give you an example Kyle Kendrick. They just brought him back. Well, that's a way to tank when you think he's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Pitch him like As every I three said, days. They don't have to try. They just do <laughs> no, it naturally. No, I'm saying, but this may be a way. I think your boy, Bradditch, Jeff Bradditch, is smart enough to go, we need to tank here and get the number one pick. Let me ask you a question in return. If they get the number one pick, who's the best college player or high school player out there? You know, <laughs> let me help you. Let me help you. Here. No, no. I, I want to say. <laughs> you actually, no, no, no. You no, just no, threw no, him no, right no, under the no, bus. No, no, no. Let, let, I, no give me a shot. Give me a shot. Because I remember watching the college races, and I don't know if he's been drafted already, but I'm trying to remember the name of the pitcher from UCLA. And. Oh, no. could, could one of you guys look that up? Yes, we will. Okay. I, I will tell you this. Um, very possibly the top three players taken in the next amateur draft in June of 2016 will be high school pitchers. They. Those seem to be the highest ranked players coming up. Um, More so than a college player like yeah, a David Price. Well, that's a good question because never in the history of the draft has a high school pitcher been taken number one. But that could happen this year. And what do the Rockies need more than anything else? Pitching, pitching, pitching. So they could very well get this kid maybe A.J. Puck out of Florida. Uh, he would be uh, a hockey player, wouldn't he? <laughs> if you had a kid Here's named the A.J. Puck. He's a left-hander out of Florida. We already had one of those in this town. His name was Tebow. That didn't work out too well. Uh, it okay. worked out well, actually. Oh, don't, don't, a... don't start with me. <laughs> don't the start results with me. were good. No, 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 no. no. So, uh, so great same... season, went to playoffs, beat Pittsburgh. Won a playoff game. Won a playoff game. Yeah, boy, I enjoyed those three years. How'd you like um, Cal Orton? You loved Cal Orton. So, so How many did he go? Pitching is going to be there for them, and Woody and I both agree. Always draft pitching as much pitching as you can get because in this place you can always find hitters right and you're never going to get any free agent good free agent pitchers to come here you got to draft them draft as many as you can uh, i wonder if the ucla pitcher got drafted or not but but anyway on to the next question um they're looking trindon holiday was with the raiders in the off season and now he's no longer with the raiders Cut. he was with the broncos would it be worth bringing him back to the Broncos, given the Broncos' running back situation. Not the running back situation, but the return situation. He had a great year for the Broncos. The problem was, like some of their guys, he fumbled. And he fumbled, I think, in the Super Bowl or a playoff game. and then He fumbled in his first game, I think. Yeah, but he had a couple of crucial fumbles. But I might, uh, Jack Del Rio brought him in out there because he was familiar with him here. I, I might revisit him. I'd, I'd bring him and Carl Schmitz in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with you at all. No, 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 no. Do you realize in, He's in, better two, years, the guy. in two years, Trinden Holiday fumbled the ball ten times as a returner? See, there you go. Ten going. times. You're going all Hold statistical. On. Hold on. 
God, I'll, give you, I'll, give you, I'll give you one other thing. I'll give you another reason for that, okay? When you're scoring 35 points a game, or 30 points a game, as the Broncos did in the years when Trinden Holiday was here, every once in a while you can afford your, your guy to fumble a punt return or fumble a kick return. They don't expect that this year. Everybody's talking 25. They're going to win games 25 to 17, 23 to 20, 20 to 17. You can't afford turnovers when you're playing close games like that. So, no. And plus, he's 29 years old, all right? And he's taken a lot of big hits. And we know what happens to guys who take a lot of hits by the time they turn 29, 30 years old. I don't want him back here. I'm sorry. I don't want him back here. Yeah, I have no stats. Just bring him back. <laughs> I think he's been on a bunch of teams, like, New York Giants. He was on the Giants last year. Yeah, yeah. but if he around. wears those gloves that Les likes, then he'll the be able to hold on to cheating? the ball. Yeah. You got the solution. Yeah. Did you find the UCLA guy he was talking about? Oh, let's yeah, move on. Okay. All right. <laughs> One more hard question. One more hard question, and this is going to be more pop culture than sports. Okay. And Keith Richards, everyone's favorite musician. Didn't has... he die years ago? He did, but he's still playing. But he's playing. still living. Yeah. <laughs> but he's still with the Stones. He's he... like the guy from Weekend at Bernie's, you know? They just prop him up, and he, he plays guitar. But, but he also has opinions, and he came out with an opinion that... <laughs> Rap is for tone-deaf people. And now we have the Raiders up here, and you have the whole Straight Outta Compton movie that's come out with the Raiders culture. Do, do you like rap music? Is rap for tone-deaf people? Here's what I say to my daughter, and I say it to you, because you're about my daughter's age. 10, 12 years from now, there will not be a rap oldie station. That's how lasting that music is. I understand what he says. I understand what Keith Richards is saying because there's not singing there. So you can be tone deaf. It's just like listening to people who are talking. You don't hear music when people are talking. So you don't hear music when people are rapping. I do like some rap. Like I, think, I think Eminem is brilliant. Sure, yeah. Oh, I've got him all over my iPod. I think he's brilliant. Um, there, he's there, doing, a couple of he's I, doing home and garden shows. I think, what are you I talking think about? Pitbull, I think Pitbull's pretty good. Eminem? Um, I think, yeah. Chocolate or peanut? Probably like plain, <laughs> not peanut. <laughs> so, uh, but Eminem yeah, I mean, is yeah. like fighting. He's been boxing exhibitions. He's doing a show on Home and Garden where he proves your backyard. And you think that's legendary? <laughs> <laughs> to me, rappers are more poets than they are musicians or commentators or singers. Is that fair? Yeah, I would say so. In, in social commentary, yeah. and all the young guys here are laughing at me right now. It's like, he, he just doesn't get it. They don't get rap. I get it. I just don't care for it all that much. Although Eminem, he's great. I don't get it. I don't like it. I don't listen to it. And I can promise you, 10 years from now, there will not be a rap oldie station. <laughs> I think, yeah, the, the music might have peaked in the 90s with, with Tupac. And, and saying, you're right. In I mean, 12 can, years, can it may you not imagine, be uh, do you like rap? I do. Okay, so you, 10 years from now, how old are you now? 30 I something. just turned 30. 30. You'll be 40. You'll have kids. That You'll have rug rats all around. And you get in the car and you're going to say, hey, kids, listen, to, see what I liked before. Yeah. <laughs> and your kids are going to go, Dad, you're an idiot. Do, do you so, walk around the house doing, you know, channeling Biggie? <laughs> I mean, do you? No, I don't. But Do I you will... walk around the house singing other songs? No, not really. But I will say that if you're ever in a club, when like Sir Mix a Lot comes on, oh well, yeah, everybody's Baby like, "Oh, back? that's my jam." Are you yeah. kidding me? Two Jewish guys talking about rap. Baby got back. <laughs> yeah, or uh, the, the was it the Sugar Hill Gang? Rapper's did they do the Delight. Rapper's Delight? Yeah. Oh, that was brilliant. That stuff was brilliant. What is what is sitting here? Who? I think I've overstayed <laughs> my welcome. <laughs> Goodbye, Jonathan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. There's Andrew Dice Clay. What? Yeah. No. Yeah, there he is. I got more hair than he does. Andrew Dice Clay. But watch your mouth, all right? Yeah, he, no, he's not the cleanest of Jonathan, characters. Jonathan, thanks, man. We'll see you soon. Thank I'm you. Jonathan, Jonathan really Horowitz. Per, that segment. Like, probably the only person here that saw him in concert in Reno. He was, um, Andrew Dice Clay was the entertainment. At, a, a friend of mine had a big birthday party in Las Vegas about a year ago. And... His sons brought in Andrew Dice Clay to do the entertainment. Without thinking that there were women there and a lot of older people there, and within 10 minutes, people were walking out. He just, he crosses the line. I, I took a lady in Reno to see 
him and someone at Barry Fay or somebody set it up for me and said afterward go back and meet him. This lady who was very liberal said I am not going backstage for any reason yeah. in history. He offended a lot of yeah. women. He turns he off a lot of people, women. and there are a lot of clubs around the country that well, won't why schedule career, him. His career yeah. died for yeah. like 15 years. Yeah. He just, it was too far over the top. That segment brought to you by Cooney Bob Lexus Saget. of Greenwood Village. He's not I've, I've seen, Bob he's very, Saget. He's very blue. Uh, Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. It's where we buy our cars. They're located right off I-25 <laughs> in Bellevue. Check out Here's their inventory the at CooneyLexusofGreenwoodVillage.com.